How to remove a live mouse from a sticky trap. Glue traps are a type of rodent trap that some people use to catch mice, rats, and other critters. The trap is a sheet covered with a very sticky adhesive, and this type of trap can be a danger to pets, children, wildlife, and all creatures that encounter them. Animals caught in a glue trap will die a long and painful death from exhaustion, starvation, dehydration, from injuries, or exposure if they aren't rescued. Luckily, if you find a mouse or other animal that's been caught in a glue trap, releasing the animal is quite simple, and the trick is to use vegetable oil to loosen the glue. Welcome to TheGuardiansChoice.com This video will tell you how to getting the mouse off unharmed, releasing the mouse in the wild, and keeping mice out of your house. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy! Method 1. Getting the mouse off unharmed. Number 1. Protect yourself with gloves. Rodents can carry dangerous diseases and transmit them to humans. To protect yourself from bites, scratches, and contamination, it's important that you wear a pair of thick gloves. Good gloves for this job include work gloves, gardening gloves designed for roses, or heavy-duty leather gloves. Number 2. Place the mouse inside a container. Pick up the trap with the mouse and gently transfer it to a clear plastic container or box. The container should have surface dimensions a little greater than the sticky trap and should be at least 4 inches, 10.2 centimeters deep. Number 3. Cover the mouse with a towel. Use an old rag or towel that you don't mind throwing out afterward. Gently lay the towel over the mouse's head to keep it calm. Place one hand over the mouse near the shoulders and delicately hold the mouse in place while you work. Number 4. Pour vegetable oil onto the trap. Concentrate the oil around where the mouse is stuck. Use as little oil as possible and avoid getting oil on the mouse directly as much as you can. Use a cotton swab or cloth to massage the oil into the glue. You can use cooking spray or baby oil as a last resort, but liquid vegetable oil is ideal for this job. Number 5. Free the mouse. Continue massaging the area around the mouse for a few minutes. Eventually, the glue will begin to loosen and the mouse will be able to release itself from the trap. As soon as the mouse is free, remove the trap from the container. Dispose of the trap in a plastic bag and seal the bag before transferring it to a garbage can. Number 6. Wipe off excess oil. Soak an old rag or cloth with warm water and wring out the excess. Use the cloth to remove any excess oil that may be on the mouse's paws, head, or body. Oil will prevent the mouse from regulating its body temperature, so it's important to remove as much as possible. Number 7. Give the mouse time to rest. Place a small bowl of fresh water into the container with the mouse. Place a large towel over the container to make the inside of the box dark, warm, and quiet. Give the mouse at least an hour to rest and relax. Number 8. Call a wildlife rehabilitator or veterinarian. Whenever possible, the mouse should be released to a specialist for care. When it's not possible to release the mouse to a wildlife rehabilitator or veterinarian, ask the specialist about what you can do regarding treating the mouse for oil, caring for the mouse, returning the mouse to the wild. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Releasing the mouse in the wild. Number 1. Choose a nearby location. 
When you can't release the mouse to an animal specialist, you can find a place in the wild to release the mouse. Whenever you catch a wild mouse near your house, you should always release it within 100 yards, 91m of where you found it. Releasing the mouse nearby will ensure it's in familiar territory, and will be able to find food, water, and shelter. Ideal locations for release are nearby parks, forests, fields, or green spaces. In winter, consider leaving the mouse in your shed or garage until the weather is more suitable. Number 2. Take the mouse to the location you've chosen. With the towel still covering the container, gently walk or drive the mouse to the location you've chosen for release. Avoid jostling the container as much as possible, as this will cause stress and panic. Number 3. Set the mouse free. Place the container on the ground near some bushes, logs, deep grass, or other cover so the mouse can quickly find a safe place. Remove the towel, gently turn the box on its side, and take several steps back. When the mouse feels safe, it will leave the container and seek shelter. Number 4. Disinfect your supplies. Throw out the towels and cloths you use to treat the mouse, or wash them all in a separate load in the washing machine with the gloves. Use a hot water cycle and add bleach to disinfect everything. Use a disinfecting spray to clean the container or throw out the box. Number 5. Wash your hands. Turn on the taps and rinse your hands under running water. Apply soap and lather your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. Make sure you get under your nails, the backs of your hands, and between your fingers. Rinse your hands under the water to rinse them off. Dry your hands with a clean towel. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Keeping mice out of your house. Number 1. Seal entry points into your house. Mice can squeeze through openings as small as a dime. Walk around your house and make note of any cracks, holes, vents, openings, or other access points. Seal these with metal or cement to keep mice and other rodents from entering. It's also a good idea to put screens around chimneys, to use weather stripping on doors and windows, and to repair all window screen holes. Number 2. Eliminate shelters and hiding places. Mice and other rodents often hide or make homes in woodpiles, shrubbery, and other items that are stored near your house. Keep shrubs and long grass trimmed, trim branches that are overhanging your roof, and store firewood, barbecues, patio furniture, and other items at least 20 feet away from your house. Number 3. Remove food and water sources. Mice will eat all sorts of things, including scraps, garbage, crumbs, pet food, seeds, fruit, and more. To ensure mice don't find a food source in or around your home, there are many steps you can take. Store food in airtight glass containers. Clean floors, counters, and pantries regularly. Store pet food and trash in rodent-proof containers. Clean up fallen birdseed. Pick fresh fruits and vegetables immediately. Address leaks, moisture problems, and other fresh water sources. Warnings Never pull an animal off a glue trap without properly loosening the glue first. The glue can actually pull off hair and skin, and cause severe injury. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.